Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Uh, this is part second of biochemistry, a past paper, uh, BS Nursing Game U. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have discussed uh, 35 uh, MCQs uh, that were asked in the biochemistry paper. And in this lecture, we will uh, discuss next 35 from 36 to 70 MCQs. Have a look at the MCQs number 36. Oxygen is mainly transported by which component of the blood? Plasma, platelets, hemoglobin or white blood cells. So it is specifically uh, by hemoglobin that is found in the erythrocytes. If hemoglobin is found erythrocyte, hota, to phir bhi option is option. Breaking of bonds occur in which of the following mechanism? So breaking of bonds specifically in, uh, occur in the catabolism in which the large uh, molecule, complex molecule break down into simple molecules. So catabolism is the best answer. Which of the following cycle shows amphibolic pathway? Amphibolic pathway is the pathway in which uh, both catabolism and anabolism involve. So amongst these, uh, glycogen glyoxylate, citric acid cycle, glycolysis or lipid metabolism. So citric acid cycle is the best example of the amphibolic pathway. MCQs number 39. HDL, high density lipoprotein is synthesized and secreted from. Best answer is the liver. Which of the following is considered as special amino acid? So amongst these, proline is considered as a special amino acid. Alpha D glucose plus 150 degree uh, will produce the uh, plus 52.5 degree uh, and 19 degree beta D glucose for glucose above represents. So it's a type of uh, isomerism. So uh, specifically uh, in this type of uh, isomerism uh, in which the bonds or the molecules are rearranged themselves uh, in a solution that is called the muta rotation so it is called the muta rotation quantitatively study of energy relationship in biological system obeys so quantitative study of energy relationship in biological system always obeys the laws of thermodynamics so agar uh, Quantitative study of energy relationship in biological system hota to phir biogenetics tha lekin ab chunki ye kaun se laws ko follow karte hai to log ye laws of the thermodynamics ko follow karti hai uh, study of the energy relationship in biological system which of the following organ does not have glycogen storage to erythrocyte has no glycogen storage because erythrocyte has uh, full capacity for the hemoglobin Protein molecule found inside on the surface of uh, on the surface that receive chemical signals. So signals को receive करने के लिए जो surface पर chemicals होते हैं उनको receptors कहते हैं. So receptors are on the surface of the cell and the ligands are on the surface of the coming uh, objects or the pathogen or any uh, toxins that attach on the surface. So जो चीज़ surface पर attach होगी uh, जो रिसीव करेगी उसको रिसेप्टर्स कहेंगे और जो आने वाले की तरफ से बाइंड होगी उसको लाइगन्स कहेंगे तो यहां चूंकि सरफेस ऑफ द सेल है जो रिसीव करता है केमिकल सिग्नल्स को तो उसको रिसेप्टर्स कहते हैं ए कोएंजाइम रिक्वायर्ड इन ट्रांस अमाइनेशन रिएक्शन इज तो ट्रांस अमाइनेशन रिएक्शन में जो कोएंजाइम इन्वॉल्व होता है उसको पाइडोक्सल फास्फेट कहते हैं which of the following phospholipid is localized to greater extent in the outer leaflet of the membrane lipid bilayer? So, membrane lipid bilayer ke jo external surface hai, us pe kaun se phospholipids hote hain? To usme choline, phosphoglycerin hota hai. Sorry, phosphoglycerides hote hain. Choline, phosphoglycerides. The following points about the microfilaments are true except they form the cytoskeleton with microtubule yes they form uh, they provide support and shape yes they form intercellular conducting channels they are involved in muscle cell contraction yes so it's the best answer hai wo. they form intercellular conducting channels ye function microfilaments ka nahi hai glycogen phosphorylase is responsible for the breakdown of glycogen to glucose one phosphate the sugar found in milk is the lactose sugar.
that is the disaccharide and it is uh, made up of the glucose and galactose or sometimes question may be asked as which one of the following is a uh, एनिमल शुगर तो इसका भी आंसर होगा लेक्टोज तो सम टाइम क्वेश्चन में भी आवर्स एज द लेक्टोज इज अ मोनोसेक्राइड डाइसेक्राइड अदर पॉलीसेक्राइड तो इट इज अ डाइसेक्राइड द यूनिट्स ऑफ द लेक्टोज आर ग्लूकोज एंड गैलेक्टोज व्हिच कैरेक्टरिस्टिक डज दिस लिपिड शेयर विद वैक्स तो लिपिड और वैक्स के साथ कौन सी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक शेयर हैं तो बोथ कंटेन वन आर मोर ईस्टर बॉन्ड्स What is the precursor for fatty acid synthesis? So fatty acid synthesis, कि जो precursor होता है वो acetyl को enzyme A होता है. Co-factor uh, that is also called the prosthetic group is a part of hollow enzyme. तो जब prosthetic group की बात होगी तो it means um, पक्का. तो accessory non-protein substance attached firmly. तो best answer is the C. Accessory non-protein uh, attached uh, protein substance attached firmly with the N enzymes. Which are the following is the characteristic of both vaccines and terpenes? So amongst these, uh, both can contain oxygen. Both can contain oxygen. Vaccines and terpenes both can contain oxygen. Sulfuric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. Which are the following reaction does not show oxidizing uh, behavior? So we have four options given. So we have the correct option to try calcium fluoride plus H2SO4. So this uh, reaction is not showing oxidizing behavior show nahi hota as sulfuric acid. Why? Because in this reaction, the oxidation number of calcium, ka, hydrogen, ka, sulfur, and oxygen has not changed. So when the oxidation number has not changed, it means that there is no redox reaction. Nahi hua. Zymogen is a vitamin, enzyme precursor, modulator or hormone. So, its best answer is enzyme precursor. So, zymogen mainly inactive enzymes. Which is the characteristic of sphingolipids? So, amongst uh, uh, these A, B, C, D, the best answer is that they all contain ceramide giant to a polar group. A hormone that is produced by the anterior pituitary is a very simple question. The growth hormone very and mainly secreted by the anterior pituitary. How many nucleotides are present in the segment uh, of DNA? If DNA segment contain 100 adenine and 100 cytosine, so when there is 100 adenine, then there will be 100 thymine. And when there is 100 cytosine, then there will be 100 guanine. So 100 plus 100, 200, 200 plus 200, then 400. So the best answer is the 400. So sometimes there is a percentage here. If there is 20 percent of adenine, then the guanine will be a percentage. So we will do 20 plus 20, and then we will divide it by 100 minus, and then we will divide it by 100. So here, if there is a total nucleotide, then here, the answer will be 400. Which of the following is a characteristic of both triacylglycerols and glycerophospholipids? Both contain fatty acid and are saponifable. In a protein molecule, the disulfide bond is not broken by. So, disulfide bond is not broken by the denaturation. Genetics means heredity variation and both A and B is the meaning of the genetics. The organic compounds having very high molecular weight are called polymers. When monomers get they make polymers. Their molecular weight is both high. Hote hain. In mammalian cells, ribosomal RNA is produced mainly in the nucleolus. All of the following have circular DNA except. So, in the best answer is viruses. Hai. Plasmid is circular. Hai. Mitochondrial DNA is circular. Hota hai. Bacterial chromosome uh, mainly is जो है ना वो सर्कुलर होता है तो ज्यादा वायरसेस के पास ए सर्कुलर जीनोम होता है व्हिच मेम्ब्रेन लिपिड्स कंटेन एन अमाइड बॉन्ड तो स्पिंजोमाइलिन कंटेन अमाइड बॉन्ड एक्सेसिव इनटेक ऑफ इथेनॉल इंक्रीजेस द रेशियो ऑफ तो ये एनएडीएच और एनएडी प्लस की रेशियो को इंक्रीज करते हैं व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्ट एज अ स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ हाई एनर्जी फास्फेट so amongst uh, these, high energy phosphate is the phosphagenes. So high energy phosphate stored as a phosphagenes. It is of two types, creatine phosphate in vertebrates and arginine phosphate in the invertebrates. Phosphagene maintains the concentration of ATP when it is utilized as a source of energy. 
the most important epimer of glucose is the galactose. Glutamine is symbolically represented by the symbol Q. A lipid bilayer is permeable to only amongst these options uh, the urea is the best answer. Thank you so much. Uh, this is all about the part 2 of the biochemistry paper. In the coming lecture, we will discuss more MCQs about the biochemistry, microbiology and the past paper of microbiology as well. Thanks.